mammals. I've always been intrigued by them. I lived in the United Arab Emirates for two years in the Emirate of Ras Al Khaimah. Camels were everywhere. Camels lived behind our house. Camels wandered down the highways. And even without thumbs, they sometimes hitched rides in the back of trucks. My favorites were always the babies. You could pack them up if you wanted to and take them home. One of the most curious activities in our town was the weekly camel races. The racetrack is not circular, but long instead. I was told that camels refused to run in circles. I wish I were that smart. Before the races, the camels lays about, waiting for their turn at the starting gate. The camels are equipped with what I like to call camel spankers. These little boxes each have a whip that is remotely operated by the camel owner to spank the camel to make the camel run faster in the race. The camel handlers are charged with the task of standing in front of the camels to get the reluctant ones to match their toes to an imaginary line. The starting area has a green veil. The green veil shields the camel's view from the track. When the veil is lifted, the camel handlers all dive for the safety of the sidelines. As you can see, not everyone makes it to safety. Once the camels are on the way, the real excitement begins. Now, the camel owners and observers run to their cars and begin racing alongside the camels. Dust is flying. Horns are honking. Men are shouting. And the remotes are spanking the camels. Mayhem prevails. The victorious camel gallops over the finish line, followed by the weary ones. Fresh camels line up, and so it goes. Again, and again, and again, over the centuries.